How do I trade my pre-IPO shares after an IPO? Hello and welcome. Today, we're exploring an exciting journey, trading your shares after a company's initial public offering, or IPO, especially if you've held these shares before the IPO. It's a big step, and we're here to guide you through it. So, let's get started. An IPO is when a company first offers its shares to the public. But what if you already own shares before this IPO takes place? The process of trading these shares can seem complex, but it's manageable with the right experts to guide you. Our team is here to guide you through the process. First, let's talk about S1 and 1A filings. These documents contain crucial information about your company's IPO. If your shares were included in these filings, you can remove trading restrictions more easily. If your shares were not included in the company's S1 or 1A, then they might have restrictions on them. You might wonder why there are restrictions on your pre-IPO shares. It's to ensure that all trading abides by the rules and regulations put in place by the SEC. Removing these restrictions is your first step towards obtaining free trading shares so that you can sell them through a broker. The stock transfer agent for your stock should be able to help you remove any restrictions applicable to your situation. The process of lifting these restrictions can vary, but generally involves confirming that your shares are no longer bound by any pre-IPO agreements. This is where working with a knowledgeable transfer agent, like Colonial, becomes essential. Now, let's talk about transferring your shares to your broker. The most common way to do this in an IPO is through a DRS or DWAC transaction. Through DRS, or Direct Registration System, you can transfer your shares electronically to your broker without a medallion guarantee. Meanwhile, DWAC, or Deposit Withdrawal at Custodian, allows you to transfer your shares electronically as well but requires a medallion signature guarantee, which confirms to the transfer agent that you are authorizing the stock transfer. After these steps, you're almost ready to trade your stock. But remember, each shareholder's situation can be unique. It's crucial to consult with your broker and a financial advisor to understand the best course of action for your specific circumstances. Here's a quick checklist for you to remember about the process. Check if your shares were included in the registration statement filings by visiting sec.gov and then going to Company Search. Once you find the correct company's filing, which is typically the most recent Form S1 or 1A amendment, you can see if your shares were included and registered in the Selling Stockholders section for resale. Work with the transfer agent for your stock. Each company is typically one transfer agent that can help you transfer your shares to your brokerage. If Colonial Stock Transfer is the transfer agent for the stock, visit our restriction removal page to get started. Choose between DRS and DWAC for transferring your shares. Consult with your broker and financial advisor. Trading your shares after an IPO is a significant milestone. With these steps, you're well on your way to successfully navigating this exciting phase. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. Colonial Stock Transfer is here to help. Thank you for watching. To learn how Colonial can assist companies with our specialized IPO transfer agent services, please contact us. We're here to support your journey towards a successful initial public offering.